Hi guys and welcome to another YouTube video from me, UK Daz. This time we're covering uh, OnlyFans. So the way OnlyFans works is you sign up, you charge your client a subscription to view content that's not readily available anywhere else on the rest of the internet. The best way I've found to use OnlyFans is by slowly trickling your content out and charging for it. You can upload um, all your content at once, um, charge a higher subscription, uh, but not charge for the content. That's not the best way to do it. Um, I've found that if you get people to sign up, have little bits of content trickling out each week, um, and then once a week, twice a week, you upload a video um, and you charge for that video. I normally do a discounted rate to everywhere else I upload. So if you're on my StreamMate account, um, Chatterbait, Sky Private, I charge about the same price on all three platforms. On OnlyFans, because they're fans, um, I charge them less to view my content and download it. And it, if you slowly trickle that content out each week, um, it stops that I'm gonna take all your content at once that you've uploaded for free and I've paid four pound, four or five pound for. I've, I've stopped you from just downloading all that content, keeping it for yourself and not coming back next month. The idea is with Rony fans is you entice people to keep coming back, spending with you each month. So your subscription um, is worth its money, you know? So once you signed up and you've been verified, um, that's when you start obviously pushing your link on your social media. Um, if, you're, if you've watched my previous videos um, and you're using stuff like Chatterbait, Sky Private, you can use those platforms to drive traffic to your OnlyFans account and get people to subscribe with you. So once you've got those subscriptions and you've got people signed up monthly, the best way to, as I say, to nurture those clients and those people who have spent money with you is just not give them too much at the same time. It's be regular with your content. Um, I try, try and post, um, like a new bit uh, like a new picture set um once a week um where there's anything between 10 to 20 pictures sometimes even 30 35 pictures um i try and push that once a week i try and make new videos every week i post screen previews so the so i take screen grabs from those videos each week of what I'm going to be uploading for the weekend. Um, I will be doing a lot more uploading. Um, it's just getting around to, because I'm camming all the time. It's just getting enough time and having the energy to still sit on cam and make more content. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I try and push pictures that I take from the videos. I also take preview shots which I use across my social media. Um, so if, I, if I'm fully dressed, I'll post that onto Instagram. If I'm naked, I might put an emoji over it. And when I say it, you know what it is. Um, I'll, I'll put an emoji over my willy. I'll try and post it onto Twitter and any anywhere else you can sort of post it really. Um, I've got, Snapchat account, uh, Snapchat, bleh, Snapchat accounts um, that I've collected a few people on. I post to them some of my content pictures um, just to try and get those guys in. So with OnlyFans, you've got uh, it gives you like a breakdown each week. You can either be paid, I think it's weekly, fortnightly, and monthly, uh, depending on once you reach a twenty pound limit. 
um, I get paid monthly. Uh, so it's just like one big drop into your account each month. It pays direct into your bank account. Um, you don't need anything like Paxson or anything like that. You just put your bank details in, it pays it. Once you reach that limit, it will pay it. If you don't reach that limit, which I think, as I say, is £20, uh, that money gets carried over to next month. Um, and then when you hit that £20, it just goes into your bank account. At the first of the month, halfway through the month, I think it is on something like the 15th or once a week, however often you get paid and people come into your site and sign up and give you money. And as far as I know, OnlyFans, you don't charge people for um, live streaming. So as far as I know, I might be wrong on this one, but I'm pretty sure if you're going to live stream, it's basically for free. You rely on people giving you tips to keep you there longer. Um, but that's not to say it's not worth looking after these clients because obviously they're still spending money with you regardless of whether they're buying your videos or um, you know anything else you're selling um, they are spending money with you so it's nice to look after people I will be doing more of that soon um, it's just try as I say I've got a busy schedule so I'm trying to juggle everything in around um, but yeah it's nice to look after clients um, and do sort of just give a little bit back really so as far as I know there's no real limits on what you can do on OnlyFans uh, as long as it's legal basically um, so you can do your speciality stuff uh, you can drive people from your webcam who say like feet who like uh, water sports, that kind of thing. Um, you can drive that traffic to your OnlyFans and you're selling direct content with those people who like you, want that kind of content from you. And that's the real basics of OnlyFans, really. There's not much to say. Um, the content that you sell, um, it as I say, I use content that I've got on other sites. It's an incentive to get people to buy into your subscription, charge each month, um, and try and just slowly take a little bit more money. Then maybe you they, they might buy one £15 video uh, off of something like uh, Streammate. Um, but they might buy three or four of your cheaper videos. So you've earned more money, uh, sold more content, got a happier customer because they've got the content they wanted. You've got whatever you charge for the video um, and you've got your subscription and they're coming back next month to spend the same with you. The basic layout of um, OnlyFans is very similar to Twitter. Um, so it's quite easy to get your head around. There's no, there's no real complicated parts of it. Um, just remember to, um, if you're selling a video, remember to make it a message, not a post. Uh, a post will send to everyone. You can't charge for that post. Make it a message to the whole group individually as a group message you can charge for that group message bit of bulk mass email and basically it's just like um yeah it's just like a mass email you send in one hit the back end of um only phones is there's a lot of anal analytics for you um so you can literally pin down uh who looked at what how much they spent how long they've been a member uh, when their membership's running out, you can also schedule. Um, so if someone stops becoming a member, say 10 of your people drop off, which happens, um, you can also send them an incentive promotion that will hopefully bring them back to you for another month and spend a bit more money with you. Um, how much do you charge for 
how much should you charge for your subscription that's entirely up to you um i i charge around five pounds when it's um at the moment i'm running an offer because you can run promotional offers but i'm doing five pound for the first three pound for the first month five pound for the months after but as i say i charge per content after that um so that's how i earn my money if you want to push out um all your videos in one hit and not worry about people coming back each month you can charge as much as you want you can charge for your subscription you could look at maybe charging 30 pounds 40 pounds um i know women who do it who do it for 25 for all their videos and content um they don't necessarily have regular clients coming back to them each month but they're earning from those people who just come in get their content and go um so there's pros and cons for having a slow trickle out system of your content um and there's also pros and cons for just dumping it out there people coming along taking it and not signing up again next month i've gone i've tried both ways um i think the better way for me has been to slowly trickle that content out and the only reason why i learned that was because for the first month of my only fans i had loads of people sign up um, and then the next month I was struggling to find new people um, who wanted to buy my content. Um, so yeah, I dropped the price um, and then just slowly trickled out and people started to resubscribe. So that's probably the better way to go. Also uh, with OnlyFans, you'll get a ranking system which will show you your position on the global stage of OnlyFans um it literally tells you everything you can break it down to um how much you earn your ranking um where your clients are mostly based so if you've got loads of people in america you can target those people you can see it on like a well hot map and it shows you where people are so you've got to play around there's a lot of back-end stuff that gives you so much valuable information it's just sitting there and having time to go through that information and process it and work, see how it works best for you and how you target your market next. Um, but it gives you bank data details. At, sorry, it doesn't give you bank details. Um, it gives you a breakdown of what they've paid into your bank, which is what I was meant to say. Um, yeah, it's literally loads of things you can do on there um they also have a promotion section so if you suddenly want to do a flash sale on one particular video that maybe he's done really well or maybe he's done really rubbish um you can do like a 50 percent off for the next 10 minutes or next hour or next 10 people um it really does you can it's like running a full-on and it is running a full-on online business um there's not much you can't do that i've found I've, there, there's not been anything i've sat there and gone i really wish i could do this i've looked i've thought about it um it's basically all there so that's basically it for only fans it's quite simple um there is obviously other platforms, uh, just for just for fans. I think I said it was. I think it is. Um, who do have a very similar layout, very similar uh, way of doing things. So subscriptions, selling content, blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, just have a look, see what works best for you. There's nothing stopping you from having both accounts. Um, I think if you promote with just for fans they might give you like one percent extra to tweet when they tweet so that's basically it really um other than subscribe hit that notifications button like this video share it if you can if you have any questions at all uh feel free to ask
And if you want to see how I run my OnlyFans, as I say, it's a three pound subscription at the moment. So feel free to click on the link in the description um, to sign up for a month, see how it goes, have a chat on there with me. Um, and that's really it, guys. Not much more to say on OnlyFans. Um, peace out.